Hello everyone. My name is Joshua Garcia and I am an assistant professor at the University of California, Irvine. It's an honor and a pleasure for me to present our work and experience on constructing SANE, the software architecture instrument, which is a first of its kind framework that aids in accessibility, reusability, interoperability, and reproducibility of architectural tools. To motivate SANE, it's important to be aware that for a long time now, the cost of software maintenance has dwarfed the cost of other activities in the software lifecycle. One critical facet of maintaining a software system is maintaining its architecture, where an engineer may need to analyze the architecture for various properties, recover the architecture that is highly likely to have decayed, and determine the proper means of even representing the architecture. Let's take one of these three elements, architecture recovery, and focus on it for a bit. We need to recover architectures due to the long-standing problem of architectural decay. Take the Linux architecture, whose prescriptive or as intended architecture looks like this. While researchers at Waterloo determined its actual architecture has quite different dependencies among components, which is a form of architectural decay. In more modern systems like in Chromium, the open source version of Google's Chrome web browser and operating system, you have beautifully documented architectures like this. While the architectures recovered with the help of Google developers or architects actually look like this. Let's take one more example here of Bash as documented by its key maintainer and current architect. Bash is one of the most widely used shells out there. You'll also find that its descriptive architecture has suffered significant decay. So how do we get architectures like this? We use some form of architectural recovery, like the one shown here, that can result in different components at different granularities or levels of abstraction and different dependencies. In just the space of architectural recovery, there are more than 30 years of such techniques, a sample of which is shown on the right, categorized based on their input types. In the areas of architectural analysis, recovery, and representation, Due to the proliferation of many techniques like these, major breakthroughs and novel empirical studies face several significant barriers. The implementations of these techniques may be inaccessible or not reusable. The data sets or benchmarks used to compare them may be non-existent or unavailable in some shape or form. Even if we can get a hold of these tools and data, getting them to interoperate can be a major challenge. Beyond that, reproducing or replicating the experiments these tools and data were used in stands as another major hurdle. And of course, getting adoption of these tools or data into industry would further extend their impact by a potentially large amount. To address these issues, we have been constructing the Software Architecture Instrument, or SANE for short. SANE currently contains a catalog library of cutting edge tools for architecture recovery and analysis, plug and play capabilities for tool integration, and reproducibility wizards to enable rerunning experiments involving tools with ease. To construct SANE, we ran several workshops at ICSI, ASC, and at USC, and conducted an online survey, resulting in 17 requirements. Our workshop and survey participants come from across the world, including over 60 participants across North America, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Our ICSA paper on SANE focuses on three high-level challenges or requirements of SANE. The first is tool accessibility and reusability. The second is interoperability of tools. And the third is reproducibility of those tools for novel experiments. To address those challenges, we have designed SANE as a plug-and-play architecture with a standard interface, easing interoperability of tools. A hybrid pipe and filter and blackboard architectural style allows ease of workflow composition among same tools or components to construct reproducible experiments. Finally, a visual block-based programming paradigm with a drag and drop integration mechanism enables easy accessibility and reuse of tools. What you're now seeing is the same web-based integration environment. On the left pane, you will see menus of tools for architectural recovery, architectural analysis, and metric calculation extraction of raw facts such as dependencies and utilities that can be drag and dropped onto the canvas. 
In the Canvas, you can see an experiment involving three tool suites where you can supply data as input and also tune parameters. You then see one component marked at the top with red and a spinning wheel indicating it is executing. On the right pane, properties of the experiment can be viewed and outputs of individual components can be downloaded. Now that you are more familiar with what SANE is and how it works, let's talk about our experience with SANE. As previously stated, SANE has three tool suites, Titan, which extracts design rule spaces that bridge the gap between architecture and defect prediction, Archie, which creates and maintains trace links between code and architectural elements, such as architectural tactics, and Arcade, which is a collection of tools for architecture recovery, detection of architectural decay, and calculation of metrics for architectural change. On the right, you can see the number of components currently in SANE divided into components for architecture recovery, architectural analysis and metrics, fact extraction, and utilities. The types of components are further divided into whether they are used in the web-based integration environment that you just saw, or as microservices that can be downloaded and easily reused for new experiments. In the same paper, we discuss two case studies, a compact study involving a game engine called Xmage, where we use SANE to recover Xmage's architecture and detect smells in it, and a detailed study of Hadoop 2.5.0. Hadoop is one of the most widely used platforms for distributed data processing and storage using the Google, Google MapReduce paradigm. Let's focus in on the Hadoop study in more detail. For this study, we integrated components from all three tool suites that are currently included in SANE. More specifically, we used those components to study relationships among architectural roots of error proneness, architectural tactics, and architectural smells. We discuss five major findings related to those three architectural concepts whose details we highly encourage you to examine in the paper. This study was driven by a third year PhD student with no experience with Archie or Arcade. SANE provided the student easy reuse and access to tool suites that he has not used before. Using SANE helped him ease understanding of the workflows of tool suites, which in turn facilitated integrating their components. The visual nature of the block-based programming paradigm eased understanding of how to supply inputs to same components and connect inputs and outputs without having to dig deep into documentation. Let's take a deeper dive into one example result of this case study. In this example, you can see how it is easy to combine info and analyses from multiple tools using SANE. We'll focus on one architectural root of error proneness. This route obtained from one tool, Titan, is led by user group information on the first row, while the remaining rows are the files dependent on user group information. All of these files implement the authentication tactic. That is, they determine if the user is who they claim to be, which is identified by another tool, Archie. Two of these files are involved in architectural smells. That is a dependency cycle, which is identified by the third tool, Arcade. EFreq indicates the error change frequency of files, which is also identified by Titan. This outer box shows relationships among these tactic files as a term using Titan. For example, this cell indicates that user group information has a general reference relationship with security util, and those two tactic files change together 11 times in their commit history. Darker red indicates a greater error change frequency. For this architectural route in Hadoop 2.5.0, we find that structural and historical coupling among the tactic files tend to contribute to error proneness. However, there is little to no relationship between architectural smells and error proneness. From a more practical perspective, by combining these analyses, we can prioritize and guide maintenance and evolution efforts. So, for example, a developer would be guided to focus their effort on user group information. To summarize, we introduced SANE, the software architecture instrument. It is a first of its kind framework that aids in accessibility, reusability, interoperability, and reproducibility of architectural tools. Our ongoing and future work is focusing on ease of dataset and benchmark inclusion into experiments and creation of microservices for tools and components in tool suites. We encourage you to try out SANE at sane.usc.edu. Thank you for your time and attention.